Hello, I'm Elena Scott, and this is Tire Business News Minute, the industry's video news show. Titan International has paid $9 million for the shuttered Goodyear tire plant in Union City, Tennessee. Titan said it plans to use the mixing equipment to help increase its output of farm and OTR tires. The company hasn't decided yet whether to keep the equipment in Union City or move it to other plants. For now, though, it plans to use the Union City building as a warehouse for tires and as an equipment rebuilding operation for the machines there. A Rubber Manufacturer Association's proposal to regulate proper tire repair techniques is meeting with strong opposition from the tire dealers and aftermarket organizations. The TRMG and the Tire Industry Association both have spoken out against the RMA's proposal for state legislation to enforce proper tire repairs. Both organizations claim education and not legislation is the answer to reducing the numbers of improper flat repairs. For now, the RMA is seeking feedback on this and other proposals to ensure safe repair procedures. Finally, a jury in Sacramento Superior Court ordered Ford to pay $73 million to plaintiffs for a tire failure involved in a vehicle crash that killed two people and severely injured two others. Four members of the Fair Oaks Presbyterian Church were riding in a 15-passenger Ford Econoline van in 2004 when one of the Goodyear tires suffered a tread separation. The plaintiffs alleged that Ford never told its dealers about a Goodyear replacement program for the tire two years earlier. Ford, which plans to appeal the verdict, denied the claim and argued that the driver drove negligently and that the passengers either weren't wearing their seatbelts or wore them too loosely. Meanwhile, Goodyear settled with the plaintiffs before the trial. That's it for today's News Minute. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to read more about these and other stories, including our coverage of the recent SEMA and APEX shows in our November 21st print edition. I'm Elena Scott for Tire Business in Akron, and we'll see you back here November 28th.